guys, welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I will utilize pigments um, when either making acrylic colors or gel colors. The acrylic and gel color that we're going to make today is this Aztec Gold shade. And um, this is a Magic Pearl pigment from solarcolordust.com. If you're interested in any other colors that they may have, I did recently purchase some and I posted a haul video. So what we're going to use to mix this up is one of these little spatulas that they gave me in my order. To make the colored acrylic, I'm going to use this Professional Clear. This is from Diva DC or DivaCollections.com. The most important thing you need to get down when you're making your own acrylics is to know a formula. My formula is normally three to one. So three of clear, or I might mix it with white or natural of whatever amount. So it could be the scooper amount. It could be a teaspoon, a table amount, a pinch. Um, but I always do three parts of clear to one part pigment. Um, same thing with my glitter, raw glitter mixes. If I have a raw glitter mix, I might do three parts of clear to one part of the raw glitter mix. And it's all about the way that you want your formula to feel. Do you want it more wet or more dry? Um, so it's one of those things you got to kind of play around with it. Uh, some people do two to one. Some people do one to one. Everyone's different, but three to one is what I normally typically start with. And then if I need more pigment, I'll add more pigment. And if I need more clear acrylic, I'll add more acrylic. Here I'm just adding my three scoops of clear acrylic. They're not really leveled off either, just in case if anyone is wondering. Now I'm just taking my one scoop of pigment and this might actually be a lot, but I do want a lot of um, this acrylic. So I'm going to probably level off this spoon though. So just tap that in there. Now what I'm going to do, and this is like a condiment cup, so something you would put ketchup or mustard or what have you in there. I'm going to put the lid on it, and I got this condiment cup from Walmart. I believe it's like a pack of them. Put the lid on it, and then I give it a really hard shake um, for a couple seconds or so. Now, another thing you may have to do, depending on whether or not your pigments has lumps in it, they have mortar and pistols that mortar and pestles that people tend to mix with. But I find with my pigments, as long as I give a really good hard shake, mine tend to mix really well without having any large lumps. But a mortar and pestle is another way that you can go to really make sure everything Everything is ground up together. I've gone ahead and mixed that pigment in with the acrylic and it looks pretty saturated um, from what I can see. So now what I'm going to do, like I stated, I do my three to one formula just to see um, what it gets me. Now what I'm going to do is start adding in more clear acrylic. Um, and this is pretty much just going to act as a filler for this and um, really just give me the consistency that I'm looking for. Here is the formula that I was looking for. What I did was went ahead and to that, to that mixture added one tablespoon of, of that same clear acrylic. And then I just put the lid back on, shook it for about a minute or so, and then I swatched it. Here is a swatch of that gold acrylic right there that I made. I already have a video on these other acrylics that I've made. Um, but basically with this swatch, you do not see any dark, pigments and that just means that the pigment blended very well with the clear acrylic and um let me flip it over Here's the back side of that same swatch. So as you can see, it blended pretty well. Now, if this was a matte acrylic, such as red, pink, blue, any color that needed to be very opaque, like um, what I would do is just go ahead and add white or natural acrylic, and that's just going to give it some opacity. And that will be it. That's pretty much all that you do. Again, it's one of those things you kind of got to play around with, but this is typically what I do all the time. And if it's something different I'm looking forward to. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably add some spangles and such inside of that. Um, now, if I wanted to make more of this, what I would do is probably add a little bit more pigment and then add maybe another tablespoon of clear acrylic to make this a bigger a bigger batch. But you can do this in cupfuls and things like that. It just depends on how much 
pigment you have and clear acrylic. I use that same acrylic to make these little molds and I just use one of my molds that I made from some alloys that I found and um, just made this little mold and then I just popped that acrylic in there and then um, took it out and this is just another thing that you can do with your handmade acrylics.